What's going on and welcome back. This is the second episode of What I'm Whipping by me, Candy Girl CC, your nice round and brown out here. And what this is is a series that I'm doing on YouTube in which we're giving reviews on newer model cars. Why? I don't know why because I didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> it's like, uh, just because... You never know, you might want to buy a car, you might want to purchase a car. And like I said, every week I get a hand on new uh, model cars out here. And I just want to share it with you guys, that's why. So this edition of uh, What I'm Whipping is going to be the 2017 Ford Fusion Hybrid. Doesn't that just sound all sexy? Or does it sound kind of geeky? I mean, when you think hybrid, you think of some nerd shit, right? Like a Prius. Not to knock a Prius, but like some nerd shit like a Prius or something like this but this is actually one of the sexier hybrids out there I mean it's one of my favorite cars like I take this car all the time just because it's nice looking has some decent amenities and I look cute in it that's why anyway let's get this episode cracking as usual we're gonna start with the keys now, in my last series, this is what I'm talking about when I said keys can be cute. This is a sexy key right here. You see what I'm saying? This looks like I could turn on my TV with this or like something hot. Like some hot shit definitely looks like it can happen. It looks like a remote control, right? These are the keys to the Fusion Hybrid. Um, Pretty standard as usual with everything that they have on them has the unlock button, the lock button, and when you honk it two times, you can pop the trunk. Something like me, baby. <laughs> Psych! And then there's also the alarm button, too. Again, a staple when you got crazy baby daddy stalking you and crazy exes stalking you. You can honk your little red horn and they can, beep, beep, get away from me, motherfucker, get away. You feel me? Anyway, so this is a sexy key, and I like it. Um, only thing you gotta worry about is when the battery goes dead in these mugs, you gotta replace them, but hey, it's a push start, which I enjoy. I like push starts. Only the time I don't like push starts is when I have fresh stiletto nails. And you know the tip is so pointy and fresh. And if anything goes wrong and you tap on that little push button, it's all in the door. You hella bad because you just got your nails in and then they all broke because you must have pushed it on the push start. <laughs> Too hard. <laughs> but otherwise, I love push start. So that's the keys. All right. Now, let's check out the inside of the car. So, turning on any hybrid or, excuse me, any push start is pretty much the same. First thing you want to do is step on the brakes. Shout out my fuzzy stickers and my freshly painted tools. And then you want to hit the start button. Hear that? And that's it. That bad boy is on. Isn't that sexy? Sleek as fuck. Sexy as fuck. And quiet as fuck. You know, for you creeping ass niggas who want to come home at night but don't want your girl to know you outside, you definitely need a hybrid in your life, for real. Nobody will even know you come in. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's so deadly quiet in this thing. The only way that I tend to know that it's even um, besides the air blasting is you have a ready to drive signal and that pretty much means um, that the car is on so this bad boy is fairly new only 1400 miles on it and it's a full tank of gas speaking of gas of course this is a hybrid right so you want to know how many miles to the gallon it gets I don't know but for a full tank you get about 500 miles and this is after I've driven from here to San Francisco I mean from San Francisco to here so it had about 508 miles when I got in the car and I'm only down to 494 so almost 500 to the tank so that's good you can get from here to LA you can almost make it all the way to Vegas on that shit okay what else about the driver console dashboard thingy wingy it lights up which is nice and it's like all fluorescent which is like really cute I think that's cute and then this is a part that I like right here it has all these leaves efficiency leaves that's what they call them I didn't even know they had a name but it has the leaves I don't know what they do but they're cute I mean it makes me feel like I'm in the outdoors and this is good because this is pretty much the closest the outdoors as I want to get. You know what I'm saying? I don't do much but the beach. I'll do the beach. But camping and hiking. I might hike but it has to be like ex like real circumstances for me to hike. But at least this makes me feel outdoors. You know what I'm saying? Let's take a look at the steering wheel. Um, again, made by Ford. So you can see that. 
this okay button I don't even know what it's for oh that adjusts the whatever that is on the dashboard so you can't really see but it's the speedometer and you can change miles per hour to kilometers as such so I guess that's what it does then it has all these up and arrow buttons and it'll let you know about the trips the display so basically information and display about the car is from this right here we have this this looks like um, cruise control cruise control so that's nice it has cruise control which is good on those long drives it has driver's assist woo woo who knows what that is but that's some hot shit and i know it makes the car more expensive especially when you do things like try to replace the windshield so driver's assist is hot what else can we see about the dashboard it tells you the temperature 60 degrees and it has 120 but i doubt this deep thing does 120 for um, i know it don't do no 120 let's check out the radio of course staple feature so I have the air on right now and a little less knobby than some other cars only a knob on the left and the right for temperature so you can adjust the passenger as well as the driver's side temperatures which is nice fan control are done by these buttons I like stuff that's just buttons it just makes me feel more modern you have your defrost here circulation via the car ac max ac you can turn it on and off here you can adjust if you want your air to go to the top portion of the body here or the bottom portion here the portion what's a portion i don't know what portion is but you can go to that portion if you want to okay max um defrost rear defrost auto who knows but we ain't pushing no buttons we don't know no more because i started messing stuff up and we ain't got time okay radio let's turn it on I appreciate man. Yeah, you know what? You're right. You're damn right. I can't remember the time I was going to do I spy with my little eye. Got that little yachty slapping because of course it comes with serious radio. Because you know I don't drive nothing unless it got that serious in it, man. Yeah, I'm sharing that shit. I get down on here. I'm serious about my serious, man. Got to turn to that 44 Hip Hop Nation, but we ain't going to be promoting them today because they ain't banished. But on the side of the car, got the CD button. Um, Got the CD player right here. I was going to say I didn't even notice that. A little old school, but hey, CDs still get love too. Play, eject there. Got the radio button, FM, NAM. Got the media button. You can go USB, CT, mobile app, whatever you want to do. Phone settings go here. Phone book, call history, all the rest of that good stuff. Sirius, which we're going to turn back to. What's this button? Oh, that's to adjust the sound. Sirius. Oh, you can actually set the time nice and easy. That's cool. And then the menu button. All these different buttons. So the only thing about the screen is it's not touch screen. So you kind of have to manipulate and maneuver by pushing all the arrows here. Tons of settings. Camera settings. What's on the camera settings? It got? Oh, it must have a backup camera. Oh, we gonna have to hit it. Sorry. Let's we'll see. Matter of fact, that's about all the console we need to see. Let's see if it has a backup camera. You think I would know because I drove it already, but I really wasn't paying attention. Oh, I just turned it off. Let's turn it back on. Oh, pimp shit. Gear adjust is a knob and not one of those hand stick shift things. Did I turn it off? Let's see if it's off or on. I'm having technical difficulties. Okay, it's on now. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. The shit is so quiet you can't even tell it's on. And yes, folks, we got backup camera action. Woo, 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 woo. Backup camera, bitch. Back the thing up. Back the thing up. <laughs> I love backup cameras. Makes my life so much easier. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. I tend to like what the seats are made of. I don't know what you call this material, but it's like all perforated and presidential looking. And it looks pretty official considering it's not leather. So it also looks pretty stain resistant, which is definitely was up for those who got kids. You know, that's always a big factor. And it's black in here. And of course, it's a black on black model because, you know, I like everything but my crime black on black. And the only thing it's really missing is the tents. But hey, it can't be perfect. A little bucket walking in front of us shout out the bucket walking but that's not bad though 
Let's check out the BX seat. The BX seat. Oh wait, before we do the back seat, look. This is how you park the bitch. You put that bitch in park with the button. So you basically put it in park by pushing down, and you release the park by pushing up. Isn't that slick as shit? No more steering around on the ground for the um for the park release. Back seat is roomy. Plenty of leg room. You got vents on the thing. They even care about the passengers. You ain't gotta be cold, baby. Cause I love you, baby. I'ma give you some heat up. <laughs> That's what's up. Dome lights. Let's see what's up here. Visors got mirrors on both sides. I hope because believe it or not, there are actually cars that come nowadays where there's not mirrors on both sides, which is just not the business. Oh, hi, cutie. Hi, baby. What you doing later, girl? Oh, yeah. Anyway, stay focused out here. That's what's up. Dome lights. Pretty standard. Let's see. This is a windshield wiper, wash, whatever, windshield wipers, up and down for them hoes. And these are actually good windshield wipers. I've been in some cars with the way that they wipe is like so fucking boosty that you can't even like see in the actual rain. And you know it rains a lot in the Bay Area, so you be needing that shit. Shout out my freshly done nails, you feel me? Okay, over here, this is how you control the lights. This is on the left hand side of the passenger, kind of the bottom of the console. You just want to turn those on and off pretty standard with the knob. Nothing special. Mirror control right here. So you choose if you want the left or the right side, then you choose what direction you want it to go. Window lock and all the windows. Oh yeah, automatic switches. We hitting automatic switches. You can't see that. The chair raises up and down automatically. Goes back with a switch. Nice and automatic. Nice and easy. This is definitely one of my favorite cars. Oh yeah, of course. USB. Don't know where I'd be without my USB. And also the lighting cable switch too. I mean the lighter cable switch. That's it. Okay, there's this eco button. I don't know what it means, but ecology, it could be like um, economics, but we'll leave that to the, uh, the owner's manual for to figure it out. This looks like a button. If you park on the hill, you can set the brake like that or something, but I don't know. It's a hill. I imagine that's what it is. This is what's up. In the armrest, they have compartments so you can store your weed right here. And you can put your money. Then when you don't want to spend it all in the strip club, you can put your money right here so the strippers don't get all your money in the strip club, okay? That's pretty good. Do they have any more USBs in here? No, no. why do they even carry these lighter things? Why do nobody got time for these? They just need to make them USBs. They're so stupid. But whatever. That's my little cord. That's pretty big in there. Yes. That shit is dope. Not a lot of cars actually have the turning knob, so I really like that. And that's the outside of the car. Alright, Gucci Man and Drake is gonna take us to the outside. Oh wait, this is the inside of the car. Gucci Man and Drake is gonna take us to the outside. Alright, y'all. So now on to the outside of the Ford Fusion Hybrid definitely has a sexy look to it considering it's like a family car i mean isn't that what it's considered it's like along the lines of like a camry or maybe even the new impalas even but it's it's pretty sleek it's pretty sexy like i like it when i see people on the hybrids i mean not even hybrids but when i see people in fusions i kind of give them a little bit of respect because it's kind of dope yeah. and definitely with the hybrid saving that money you paid a little bit extra for your package so i know you got some doubt you feel me so that's the side that's the side we saw the front let's check out the trunk so 
So inside the trunk, there's actually a, a step. I don't know what that's for. I guess they want you to expire to higher things in life, maybe. I don't know, but it's a little step. It's layered. So you got one layer, then you got bottom layer. You can enter in the back of the car that way. Always got the little, uh, <laughs> always got the little tag to let you out, just in case somebody tries to throw you in a trunk. What happened? You feel me? It'd be all good. You could get out that G thing and live another day, player. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. This is pretty much a stock model. Like, this G thing would be busting if it really had some tinted windows, but hey, what I say? You gotta go with what you're giving, right? Back around to the front, and that's the outside of the fusion. So that was the outside of the hybrid, the Ford Fusion Hybrid 2.0, I believe. Isn't that kind of sexy? Like, it's a cute little car. Like, in the, to be considered a family car, it's like a cute little schmobby, mobby, run around G thing or whatever. One more thing I wanted to show you guys that I forgot is look. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Damn. Anyway, gas tank is on the door. Just push a button, baby. Isn't that dope? Anyway, definitely one of my favorite cars that I've driven so far this year. Very cute, gas efficient with the 500 miles um, per tank. How much does it cost? I don't know. I don't really get into that in this show because I don't buy the cars. I just drive them, you feel me? I got to leave you something to Google anyway, pimpins. Uh, and that'll be it. Second episode of what i'm whipping with your girl candy girl cc tune in like i said for the next episode episode three who knows what i'll be driving next week i don't even know what it'll be but you guys can tune in make sure you like my channel and subscribe so that you can keep up with all the new videos and i will definitely keep you posted on the next episode of what i'm whipping oh see ya